Hi guys, I'm Ashutosh and uh, today I'm back with another part of uh, customizing master portfolio and today we'll talk about the rest of the part that is not covered in part 1 and part 2. So we have created like I have created uh, part 1 and part 2 for customizing almost 99% of the stuff in uh, which you can see in the template portfolio template but the two things which are remaining I am going to cover that one in this video so before starting the video i want to request you that we are very close to 1000 subscribers so if you enjoy my videos and uh, and comment down the best part of the video which you liked and also if you have any questions you can ask it in the comments and i'll resolve them as soon as possible so let's get started with this video and in this video we are going to customize two things one is this illustrations that you are seeing uh, looking here so this image is this cartoon type of images we, are, we will customize that and we'll understand why it is not 100% customizable and how we if you want to customize or if you want to put your own images how you can put put them also if you look at my own portfolio that is ashutoshhathira.com so you will see that this is an animated logo at first and then it is transitioning to my home page so how to create that kind of animated logo this kind of animated logo we will understand that from scratch so let's get started and first uh, we'll go and understand how to customize this illustration so uh, for your information this illustrations are taken from undraw so if you go undraw.co so i've taken the, the all the illustrations from here i've given the link of this uh, website in the description box below you can go you can go and download illustrations for yourself so now let's say uh, the, the portfolio you are a girl and you want to keep a girl's uh, illustration here and not boys so let's say you want to have illustration this one so what you will do first so you will uh, first download the this image or this uh, illustration as svg so it will be uh, responsive while switching to different ui screens so let's say i will switch to uh, mobile mode so it will automatically reduce its size in pixels so that's why it is important to have uh, svg illustrations in our website so now let's first go to our visual studio code and just look at how the illustration code looks like so first of all we'll go and check this greetings illustration so uh, if you look at the website this whole part which is uh, coming on a home screen containing this name caption this buttons and this illustration is contained within the greetings part so how do we get the greetings part so what we can do if you want to search which part is in which component you can directly go to pages and then you will find the page uh, folders particular to uh, corresponding to particular page and then what you can do is you can go to we, we uh, let's say we want to go to home so go to home and open the home component so here you will find all the compo all the components and from where they are exported or imported in this component and so first is header if we don't want header header is the logo and the nav bar and we want greetings so where is the greeting component so it is inside container greeting and greeting so we'll close this and we'll go to containers so containers then greeting and this greeting so here you you can see that there are three files greeting.js greeting.css and feelingproud.js so this greeting.js is the main file which has the complete component and this feelingproud.js is our illustration which is an svg image which we have downloaded but it is wrapped in, inside a react component and why is that because because we are changing the color of this svg image because we are changing the color of this svg illustration based on our theme so that's why we are wrapping uh, our uh, SVG illustration with this code. So how do you know that which theme dot text? So how do you know that which color is what? Let's uh, let's observe the illustration more carefully. So you can see that whatever this like uh, the pant of this illustration is like the same as the text color. Also the computer screen and other stuff are uh, of uh, the text color so we want to keep it that way so even if you see the code so 
you can see that uh, at many a place the th theme dot text is filling to some of the polygons of our illustration so now what if uh, here a theme dot dark is also there for some of the illustration theme dot image highlight is also there for i think for t-shirt theme dot image highlight is there but, and but how how will you know that which color uh, you want to put uh, in which place so what we can do is we can refer to theme uh, here in this case we are using the blue theme so that's why uh, you can see the color and you can put colors onto different places and how would you know that which color of the image is what so uh, for that we will use figma for that we will use figma customize the colors or let's see how to customize the colors so we'll import so we'll import the new downloaded illustration which we have downloaded from undraw and we'll try to customize this one we can see that this table color is made as it is we are not changing this table color because it was like uh, in a good contrast to the background and it was not disturbing the background or a theme in particular way so that's why here also we won't change this background but what we will do is we will change this particular like the stop color and also the color of the pant of this lady also we will change the color of this planet which is uh, looking in the sky so first let's let's see what color is it so it is 6c 63ff this is also also the same color that is 6c 63ff so instead of 6c 63ff we want to have this type of color that is this uh, t-shirt color so what we will do uh, first is we will remove this svg from feelingproud.js so we will only remove the that svg we won't remove the complete react uh, component code and we'll open the illustration in any of the editor so you can see that this is an also an svg image a svg illustration so what we'll do is we'll copy the complete svg code for this illustration we'll go back to visual studio code and we'll paste that into our react component that we have downloaded now going back to the code you can see that here the new illustration is coming but it, you can see that it is disturbing the our background color so this color this uh, purple kind of color is not matching with the color in with the our background so how can we change that color and before that uh, one more question comes how do we identify this color because we can only replace the colors only if we we can identify the particular color so how can we identify the color uh, to identify the color we can go to figma we can click on that particular part and we can see the color so here you can see that we have 6c 63ff so we can what we can do is we can go to visual studio code and we can press command control f to replace particular color and what we can do is we can search for this particular color that is 6c 63ff so at six places this color is present so what we will do is we will replace this text with theme dot image highlight you can copy the spelling of image highlight from here and you can directly paste it and and then you can press replace all to replace all the colors now you can save the file you can go back and you can see that now it is giving a good color because it is because this color is with in synchronization to our background and also with our text one more thing is missing is that the pant and the shoes color of this lady so how can we change that so similarly we will go back to our figma we will select this part and we'll see the color also we'll select this part and we'll see the color so you can see that both of these colors are same so even if we are selecting one it will automatically change the other one so the color is 2f 2e41 so we'll go back to visual studio code similarly we'll so similarly we'll search for 2f 2e41 and you can see that it is also present in six places and we'll replace this with text color so whatever text dark color we have we'll replace uh, this color with that one and press replace all so now it has replaced our this color with that one and now you can see that it, the, this illustration is completely in synchronization with our template and and like this you can change 
and like this you can change illustration in in the template and you can add your own illustrations as well as you can change the color of illustration as you want so please try to experiment with that that i've came up with this one with trial and error so whatever is looking good i have kept that one so but uh, for your so but for your purpose you have to do some experiments and after that you can come up with good colors which you can render in this in this template so that was about creating a good background or creating a so that was about changing the illustration so like that you can change the illustrations now coming back to the second part that is any uh, creating an animated logo so what we have done is we have created this logo figma and after that we have animated it using css so going back to figma we will delete this because now we don't want this one and now we'll create a polygon because we will have two polygons if you look at the website logo you can see that we have two polygons which are now creating it themselves then we have a text and then we have two letters so we'll do the same thing so first we'll go and create a polygon you can create a polygon by pressing the shift so that it will be a regular polygon regular polygon means it uh, the size all the size of this polygon will be of similar length and then you can select this one and you can change the sizes so here we want to create an hexagon so that's why i am selecting six size then you can remove the fill you can remove the fill and you can enable stroke if you want to if you want to uh, increase the thickness of the border you can do that then what we can do is we have to rotate so if you look at the logo you can see that it is creating from this corner and the other one is creating from this corner so we have to rotate it counterclockwise so you you can grab this one and you can rotate this one so it will snap it so it will be a 45 degree my it will be a 45 degree move and now you can duplicate it using control d or command d or mac on mac and I want to move it a little bit down so what I, I'll do is I'll pick this up and I will move it a little bit down there so there. but this is not it because we also want to rotate it because uh, the starting point of this one the starting point from the first uh, uh, hexagon is this one so the starting point of the second hexagon must be this point so that's why I create select the second hexagon and rotate it by 180 degree so 180 degree of 45 is minus 135 degree so we have now created two polygons now the time is to create a text so you can uh, pick the text color a uh, text and you can write a color so i will write only one letter that is a here you can increase the font size here i will keep it 100 so 100 is good i will keep the font i'll keep the font as roboto itself but i will make it bold and black i will make it black and then what i'll do is i will remove the fill and i will add the stroke so so that it only gives that hollow text kind of feeling and i will increase the thickness to three now it is looking good i'll take the another text and i will also create give edge i'll do the same thing remove the fill give the stroke and increase the width to 3 now at this these two characters i think we need to increase the font size so instead of 100 we will give 120 adjust a adjust h you can adjust these two characters after that we want to write the text which is below so here we can write the text you can select reduce the size to 70 uh, 60 change the font to Augustina so this font is Augustina so you can change that if you so you can use that it is a freely available font so now this is looking like uh, the logo which you uh, which you saw in the uh, in my website the only difference is the font of this the uh, font of this one the 
inside two letters are there so the font of that one is different other than that it is looking completely fine so if you want to i have already created a video on how to animate i have already created a video on how to animate this kind of logo using css so you can use any other kind of library like uh, react spring or anim.js or different kind of libraries are available so you can either use those libraries or also you can use uh, css just to create those animations from scratch i have already created a video in which i am animating this kind of logo using css i have that's why i am not covering that one uh, in this video so you can go and check out that video i have given that video link in the description box below you can go and check out that video and in that video we are we are doing animation for more complex logo than this one so if you learn that one this will be a pretty easy for you now the last thing which is remaining is the deployment so how to deploy this website on the internet so right now uh, the, the website which you have developed is only in our computer and it is not deployed to internet so how to deploy this website to internet so there are two services available one is github pages and another is netlify which uh, with which you can deploy any static website on the internet for completely for free for that i for that so i have created a video tutorial that was the first video on this youtube channel so i am also giving the link of that video in the description box below in which i have talked about deploying any react website to github pages for free and for the demonstrating that deployment i have used master portfolio itself so you can uh, go and check out that video if you want to deploy your website after you customize it completely hope you enjoyed the video so that's it for today guys i i hope you enjoyed the video and you learned something new uh, like share and comment on the video and subscribe to my youtube channel uh, you can also support me on patreon.com i have given the link in the description box below if you have any questions uh, i can answer you questions or if you want to have a one on one meeting with me or if you want to include me uh, in your project then you can take any memberships on my patreon page the link is given in the description box below i'll be back with another tutorial next weekend till then stay safe